wrecking crew was the focal point of the music. They were the ones with all the spirit and all the know-how, especially for rock and roll music. In the hardcore producing area, everybody knew what went on there. I mean, everybody knew that the best musicians played in all the sessions, but we as the general public didn't know. I had no idea that certain people didn't play their own records until the monkeys came along. Maybe one of the reasons they left the names off was the same musicians played on so many people's records, it would have been an embarrassment if anybody had ever listened. They played so well, and they played so well together. I think they were so into that. They all respected each other, and they all would sit and, you know, talk in between takes and, and hang. I mean, it was like, it was a social event for these guys, too. What was nice about that unit was that they played together a lot. And so they, they were a, an established groove machine. They, they, they knew each other. So you could really count on what they had to offer. That's life. We played on everybody. Lazy, crazy, hazy days of summer album with Nat King Cole. It was the same guys doing that that, that that was doing the Beach Boys. The musicians were really the unsung heroes of all those hit records. When I listen to the records, it is so apparent that these guys were just really so good. And you can see why everybody used them, you know, because they were so tight. They were the stone-cold rock and roll professionals, and there may never, ever be a group of rock and roll musicians of that caliber again. Are you ready, Boots? Start walking. <laughs> 